What's up guys, this is Oxymo. Finally, the Dinka Jester Classic is out. Of course, I have been asked to recreate the Fast and Furious Toyota Supra. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to go from this to this. Uh, we're going to go step by step. Hopefully, you, you'll like the video. You might learn a thing or two. But first thing, of course, what you want to do is pull up your phone, go to Legendary Motorsports, and go ahead and purchase the Jester Classic. I'm just going to purchase it in orange. Yeah, it's like 700 and what, 90,000? I don't know. It's not too expensive, but obviously, once you get your car, we're going to uh, go to Armor, purchase only 20%. I'll show you why later on. Race brakes our bumpers we're going to go to front bumper what we're going to do is we're going to pick the drift with the intercooler i think this is the most accurate and for our rear bumpers just keep them stock and for our chassis uh that's going to be stock as well we don't need a roll cage engine of course level four our exhaust i'm only going to pick the uh, single chrome exhaust um, it's the same as what's in the movie uh, for our headlight covers, what you want to choose is the half cut eyelids, gives it more of an accurate shape. Um, rear spats for the back fenders, and for your hood, what you want to go to is choose the performance hood. And of course, I love my uh, lights, I'm going to choose my xenon lights, and of course, the uh, neon underglow crew color. Uh, next thing for your library, go ahead and select the 10 minute car library. And for your, uh, what we'll do actually, let's you can choose any plate you want, but I'm going to skip the, the colors. We'll use that at the very end. Just the stock roof, stock skirts, and for your spoiler, choose the carbon wing type 2. And for your suspension, only choose the sport suspension. We're gonna lower this ride a little bit later. Obviously upgrade your engine, your transmission, your turbo. And for your wheels, go to Chrome, Sport, Wanging Master. It's uh, pretty darn accurate. Display of the vehicle. I like my cruise smoke for my uh, tires. Make sure that you don't purchase the bulletproof wheels. Don't purchase bulletproof. Uh, I got light smoke from my windows, and I'm now going to go ahead and respray the car. For your primary, choose per, pure gold for your metals, and then you'll just add the crew color, which I put the hex on the screen now, and uh, just kind of gives it a nice underglow with that, that pure gold underneath. Kind of gives it more of a shine. You know, if you're on a budget, you could always just choose uh, regular gold. And sunrise orange for your trim color. We're now going to go ahead and lower this vehicle. Some of you guys probably know this trick and how to do it. I'm just going to use my assault rifle. And you want to line it up on the rear tires. Just go to the very back uh, in between pretty much the middle and the, the edge of the tire. And just hit it about 30 times. You'll notice after about 17 shots, it'll drop once. And if you keep going, after about 30, it'll drop twice. So moving to the front wheels, same thing in between the middle and the edge of the tire. Hit it 30 times, just gonna speed up the video a little bit. Get all the wheels, make sure it's nice and even. And uh, yeah, definitely drops a lot lower than the competition suspension. I think it looks insane. Uh, here's just a nice quick shot of what it looks like with the lowered suspension. It looks pretty insane in my opinion. Um, super accurate as far as, you know, as accurate as you can get with a PlayStation 4. Obviously we can't mod it you know, based on PC standards, but uh, I think this is as good as it gets. Uh, so I'm just going to show you guys some quick shots of the vehicle riding around Los Santos. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.